going on everybody? It's Too Spooky here once again for yet another Akibento unboxing. If you're not already familiar with what Akibento is, they are a monthly subscription box that is filled to the absolute brim of this box with anime goodies. Every single box has a different theme, and the theme for this month is Villain. Featuring items from One Punch Man, The Devil is a Part-Timer, Blue Exorcist, Seraph of the End, and Tiger and Bunny. So I'm a pretty big fan of One Punch Man, after I've gotten caught up with the manga. Really, really good. And I really thoroughly enjoyed The Devil is a Part-Timer, but the other three I'm not actually too familiar with. So there's something in this box for me, and there's also a couple in here that I've heard are good, but I just haven't gotten to yet. So overall, I think this box is going to be fantastic. Just a prediction. I hope I'm not wrong. I really do. So I'm pretty excited for this one, needless to say. But before we actually rip it open, I figured I should also let you know that the theme for August has been announced, and it is... What is it again? I forgot. Fuck me, dude. Brawl. Featuring items from Dragon Ball Super, Cowboy Bebop, and Attack on Titan. So not to take away from this box right here, but let me just say I'm beyond excited for that next one because I love Dragon Ball Z. Not so much Super, but, you know, they go together. Cowboy Bebop is my second favorite anime of all time. And then Attack on Titan, I've been really vibing with lately. It's easily become one of my favorites within the manga. I won't spoil anything for you, but you should go read it. It's really goddamn good. So if that box sounds interesting to you, which it sounds f awesome to me, or you just want to check out the website and learn more at any point during the video, please check that link in the description. It's the top link. You can't miss it. And use coupon code anime for $3 off if you decide to get one. But anyways, we'll talk more about prices and everything like that at the end of the video. But yeah, again, that you know where the description link is. So let's just rip open to this bad boy. Oh my god. I still have high hopes. I think this box is going to be really good, at least compared to the last one where I wasn't that big of a fan of it. I'll give you guys a, a good old <laughs> money shot. Oh, oh my god. god. All right. So like always, we will start with the shirt. So I'm going to take a look at it here and then I will let you guys know what I'm seeing. Alrighty. So from what I see here, I'm get I think the guy in the red right there, I'm pretty sure he's from Blue Exorcist, and then I'm thinking that the green guy is from Seraph of the End, at least from uh, pictures I've seen of the characters. But overall, I really like this design. I think this is one of the cooler shirts we've got as of recently. I like the black, I like the design, you know, the splatter slash blood look is pretty cool. Green and red always go together. Yeah, overall, I would say this is a great start to the box. The t-shirts are, the t-shirts are usually pretty spot on. There's been a couple I've been like, I ain't really feeling that. But this one right here, looking sexy as hell. Great start. All right, the next thing I see chilling right on the top of the box is a uh, wristband by the looks of it from Blue Exorcist. I'll, uh, I'll pop! I'll pop it open real quick. So yeah, last time we got one of these wristbands, I uh, I put it on my arm and I tried taking it off and I accidentally ripped it. So that that's a thing that happened. Not proud of it. But yeah, I'll give you guys a look at it here. It says Blue Exorcist and then we've got the guy, you know, chilling around with the flames on his head. Definitely one of the people on the shirt, if I ain't mistaken. So uh, let's hope I don't accidentally rip this this time. And see, the thing is, I have pretty small arms as it is. Like, I may be getting chunky in other places, but my my forearm here ain't one of them. But anyways, the thing I see right there just staring at me with its one eye. Oh boy. We got ourselves a One Punch Man Boros pop figure right here. Now let me just say, the amount of times I've went into my local bookstore that sells these and saw this and been like, you know, I kind of want that. Maybe I'll get it. The amount of times Amazon has recommended me this particular pop figure, but I have decided not to get it, even though I think it looks badass as heck. I am so glad that I didn't get it. I guess it was just the universe telling me you can't buy this pop figure right now because you're going to get it later. So needless to say, because I've wanted this particular pop figure for a while, I'm beyond pleased. This box is already a 12 out of 10. I don't I don't even have to open the rest of the thing. Let's just end the video now. So if you guys want to learn more about Acubento and how you can get one, well, let me tell you. If you're interested in getting yourself one of these boxes, the first thing you're- <laughs> Psych! We'll talk about that at the end. But yeah, great item. Something that I really wanted personally, so it just makes it that much better for me. But I think most people who've seen One Punch Man can find enjoyment out of this, because as far as pop figures go, this one actually looks really cool. And on that note, uh, you know, I wonder if we could have got any of the other pop figures. I kind of think I'm going to doubt it personally. What pop figures could we have received? I know you got Lord Burroughs, but you could have gotten the other One Punch Man pop figures too.
because Boros is on the cover art for Villain, so I'm thinking this was planned, but I guess we'll have to see. But yeah, moving on. All right, reaching back in, what do we have here? So right off the bat, you know, before I, I read the bottom word, this box looked like it was going to be some more Akibento exclusive coasters. You know, the first box I ever opened, we got some uh, Trigun coasters. Pretty cool. I, I keep them around just in case I have a beverage out, you know. Gotta protect the wood. I respect wood. I revere wood. I'm considerate of wood. But yeah, instead we got ourselves an Akibento exclusive wallet. Now I'm going to be real with you here. My wallet is falling apart. I really need a new one. I really hope this is good quality, because if it is, I'm gonna use it. If it's not, I'm going to be severely disappointed. All right. All right, uh, I think, you know, these are all the, the villainous characters that are featured in this box. Personally, this would be a really cool item, but the problem is it's like it's paper I feel like I could just tear this in half easily when I want to you know keep my money and my credit cards and Various other things I keep in my wallet. I kind of want it to be you know very secure You know, I think in general this would be like maybe a good travel wallet You know something just to take with you and show off maybe like take the bare minimum of stuff You want like maybe just like one or two cards and some money to you to like a con or something this would be a good idea, and I think I'm gonna keep it around for just that. Cause it's not like terrible quality, it's just, it's paper. And you kinda want something like a little more leathery or something like that for a wallet. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, as far as wallets go, this is gonna get a four out of 10 for me. It's usable, but it's not exactly what you should be keeping your stuff with, in my opinion. But overall, I mean like, I like the thought, who the heck thinks you're gonna get an anime themed wallet out of a subscription box? That's that's unheard of. Have you heard of that? No. Exactly. All right, reaching back in, what we got here? All right, we got ourselves a tiger and bunny keychain, and I don't even know what tiger and bunny's about, but that guy looks pretty cool. Maybe it's a mecha anime or a superhero one, possibly? I don't really know. I know we've got a few other items from that before, but as far as keychains go, that looks pretty dope. So, yeah, definitely cool with that. We're four for four on no stickers right now, so maybe we can get lucky. I, I haven't really looked in there. I'm just kind of reaching in and grab it. It's out of my view. Let's hope. Let's hope this is the one time there can be zero stickers. Please, God. Oh, what is this? All right, we got ourselves the pin, so I'll give you guys a look at that. All right, so as you can see, it says Aki Bento Villain, 2018 July, and it looks like we've got either the guy from Seraph of the End or Blue Exorcist on there. Pretty cool. All right, reaching back into the box, we got ourselves an Aki Bento exclusive pouch. Do I look like a kangaroo? No, I do not, so I could very much use a pouch. I don't know what kind of pouch this could possibly be. All right, so on the back here, by the way, this box art, it's really dope. Pretty cool. It says, this is a portable, multi-purpose, high quality pouch. Convenient, light, and sturdy for all your conventional use. Unlike the wallet. Oh! You can say this pouch has come back from the depths of hell. All right, Akibento. That little description on the back has hyped up this pouch beyond words. If this isn't good, I'm gonna be severely disappointed. All right, so it's like a, uh, a uh, little pencil pouch type of thing. It's actually, you know, it feels like a normal pencil pouch. It's got a zipper. Uh, this is a lot better quality in the wallet, I will say. Uh, the designs, you know, we got a green one and a red one. Maybe that's Tiger and Bunny again. I don't know, it kind of looks similar to the thing we got back there. I just realized, you know, what was Devil as a part-timer in this box? Maybe it's the wallet. I kind of forgot Devil as a part-timer is even in this box, if I'm being real. Well, this is not Devil as a part-timer, but yeah, you know, I'll probably definitely use this for stuff if I ever need to put pencils or pens or anything like that in here. I might just start keeping the pins that we get from every box in here. I think that's a good idea. Hell yeah. Acubento usually, and I mean usually by the wallet, is the only Acubento exclusive we've ever had that's been subpar. Every other Acubento exclusive, including this, has been amazing. And like, like I said, the wallet is still good. I already said my final thoughts. Stop with the wallet. Yeah, Akibento exclusives are usually, and I mean usually by 100% of the time, always very great. This is no exception. All right. Uh, oh, we were so close. We were so close. I thought that was everything, but we have ourselves a featured YouTuber by the looks of the size of the sticker and the artwork and everything. So there is some sort of fox 
with maybe what looks like a, a spider or something. I'm not sure who this belongs to. Uh, if you guys know, comment below. I will find out in the pamphlet in a second anyways. But hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just let me say this. I'm much happier that we're getting a featured YouTuber sticker rather than just a random anime-related sticker because personally, I could live without those. These are a little bit cooler. Shows a little bit of love to the fam out there. So yeah, you'll have to let me know who this is if you know, but I'll find out in a second anyways. So hey. All right, that is every item in the box. We will get out the pamphlet. All right, so as you can see, there is the villain artwork on the front, and then turning it over to the back, we've got some people taking selfies, and we've actually got the selfie contest on the back. And then if we open up to the inside, first off, we have the featured YouTuber who is the Alchemist Fox. Feel free to pause and read all about him if you want. And then in the place of the selfie contest on the inside, we actually have a charity thing going on here. And it looks like for every box that they sell, they're going to be donating one meal to a local food bank to fight child hunger in America. And then we could have got a Mystery Wristband from Seraph of the End, The Devil is a Part-Timer, Seven Deadly Sins, Hellscene, or Attack on Titan. Some of those weren't even featured on the list, but we ended up getting Blue Exorcist, which isn't even listed here, so maybe they were just getting rid of some wristbands. But either way, it's cool that we could get a mystery item. And then there's the Mystery Tiger and Bunny Keychain. Then we got the King of the Heroes Pouch, Demon Lord Satan Fiber Paper Wallet. We have the Lord Boros Funko Pop, the Anime Monthly Pin, the Featured YouTuber Sticker, and then the exclusive villain t-shirt. So where would I rank this box compared to the previous boxes I've opened? Well, overall, I have to say this box is pretty good. It's one of the better boxes we've had this year. Out of all the items we got in this box, the Lord Boros pop figure is by far the favorite. I've already explained why. Very happy about that one. The shirt is also extremely cool. The pouch, I can definitely get some use out of that. The wallet is cool, but it's not quite as good as I was hoping, so as much as I would like to use it, I don't think I'll be able to very much, but I'll get some use out of it someday. And then the keychain and the sticker and the wristband are just kind of more filler items, but they make a good addition to the box. Like, aside from the YouTuber sticker, which is cute, so I'll give it a pass. Everything in this box was pretty good. I don't really have any complaints other than what I complained about earlier. So I would definitely say this is one of the better boxes we've had this year, and giving it some thought, I think I'm actually going to put this one below Universe, which we also opened up this year a couple months ago. This box I enjoyed just slightly less than the Universe one, but this one was still fantastic. So, and Universe is pretty far up on the list. I don't know the exact number offhand, but I know it's in the top half or top quarter, somewhere around there. So yeah, the villain box is going to be below Universe, but above Revival. But anyways, now that we've got through everything and you guys can see just how awesome this stuff is, let me tell you all about Akibento and how you can get one. If you're interested in getting yourself one of these boxes, the first thing you're going to want to do is follow the link in the description which will take you to their website. While you're there, you can select either the 1 month, 3 month, or 6 month plan. The 1 month is $26.95, the 3 month is $26.50, and the 6 month is $26 per box. So you save a little bit selecting the higher plans, but the savings aren't massive or anything. Also, as of right now, Akibento is currently running running the coupon code ANIME, which will give you $3 off your first box. So if you went with the one month plan, you'd be paying just under $30 with shipping. Like I said earlier, each month has a unique theme, so there's lots of cool stuff on the way, and each box comes with an exclusive t-shirt and pin, and there will be 6 to 8 items in each box. You're also guaranteed to get about a $60 value worth of items in each box, so you pay almost $30 to get $60 or more worth of anime goodies. Sounds way too good to pass up if you ask me. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure to pick up one of these boxes before it's too late. Like I mentioned earlier, the theme for August is going to be Brawl, featuring items from Dragon Ball Super, Cowboy Bebop, and Attack on Titan. If any of that sounds interesting to you, and let me just say it sounds amazing to me, make sure to pick up one of those boxes before it's too late. Running out of brown yolk. Even if you have a cold still, hey, Mr. Skeletal here once again. Nice to see y'all. Oh, I'm quite out of breath, even though I don't have any lungs. Uh, yeah, it's a great box today. Uh, definitely feeling very villainous. I might steal this pop figure from Too Spooky. Don't tell him. But uh, anyways, you guys can't get enough Akimento content. <coughs> content. Make sure to click up here for the previous Akimento unboxing. Or down there for the one before that. 
Man, I need to go get myself a pair of lungs. I honestly can't breathe right now. Uh, yeah, see you guys later.